Ksenia Mia Brigilovsky, uh, 12 a.m. Um, well, now it's May 23rd. Uh, short communication just to document the latest experience with uh, home improvement. As I said, I'm sitting in a house that requires uh, certain upgrades, basic upgrades like old infested insulation, uh, overgrown grass in the backyard and old uh, broken patio stones that breed all kinds of uh, pests and ants and whatever else. So uh, I, I was looking for repairmen, general contractors, um, insulators, to do those upgrades. I've been looking over the past almost two years now to no avail, okay? Not yet. I want to document the latest experience with Home Depot. As you know, that's the uh, chain of uh, stores that sell uh, home renovation products. So I found an insulation that would work for my basement walls that are currently covered with old molded infested uh, whatever um, fiberglass insulation and when i say infested i mean it's been there for at least 13 years okay i, I think it's been there for 15 or so years so it definitely needs replacement and because it's in the basement near the uh, curl spaces and everything um obviously like i want it to be replaced it's old so it's a hazard. It's hazard, and if it's not replaced, it's it continues to be a hazard. Anyway, just to document the latest experience with Home Depot, I go to Home Depot at 55 City View, Boulevard Street, wherever. Um, one store number 7253 City View Boulevard, 55 City View Boulevard. I get this request placed through the store through the store, through the um, customer service desk, request number 070-086-0924. And they, again, the request is placed for insulation, installation of rigid core. I spe specified to the customer service desk, I specifically uh asked to put in a comment that it is for basement walls it needs to be a rigid core okay so i only get one reply back okay well, it says within whatever 24 to 72 hours you're going to get um a local pro uh, with the referral which i did and the local pro according to the this helpline here Okay, so I called that helpline. They only have one pro, only one a professional or a company that actually installs installation um, when clients get referred through the service called insulation installation. Okay, and this company only does spray foam, only spray foam. Okay, so. Home Depot sells numerous uh, products, multiple types of insulation, fiberglass, XPS, EPS, different uh, kinds of uh, uh, cellulose-based uh, materials. Like there are so many of them on their website, but you no know, ins installation. Huh? And local pro service only has one company, and that company only does spray foam. Okay. So that's the experience. And when I was at the uh, Home Depot store in Woodbridge, uh, so that's by uh, Value Village, the advertisement was blasting through the store that they are helping uh, homeless youth, that they are spending so much money for volunteering and for not-for-profit purposes and to help out to uh, get people off the streets and they are helping out, they are helping out. Look at our products. Nothing is happening. It's only a freaking gimmick for, for a bullshit uh, corporation, national chain, whatever. Anyway, the uh, end of the story is that this is the request and I got zero results out of it. Zero. Home Depot. Okay, so your bullshit advertisements can go and you can stick them up your asses. Okay, uh, and just to follow up quickly, 
uh, n number of days after this fiasco, I get a text message on Victoria's Day from phone number 47437-985-1378. That is my response to this number, but like I can uh, narrow it in. Okay, so the number uh, text says, hi there, this is Rasul. So apparently Home Depot only interacts with uh, uh, mostly my, uh, the minorities, uh, sort of those uh, uh, immigrants, okay, the uh, mostly minorities, Rasul from Home Depot, because this, this, these are the only people I get, okay? So all my home uh, renovation uh, folks in the past, I'm Mia Brigilovsky, okay, okay, right, so, like, you look at me, you see me, okay, I only get Hachi, I only get Muslims, uh, minorities, etc. So, Rasul from Home Depot, I called you regarding your spray foam insulation again. Uh, request, please give me a call when you got a chance, thank you. And my response again is, you can spray foam Home Depot customer service fucking morons. Cannot read or understand. Eh? Uh, so obviously that's a uh, uh, mockery again, humiliation for I don't know my place of origin, or is it that I need spray foam insulation? That is uh, uh, what you want to do a uh, blow job uh, with me into my basement, or like what uh, what are the hints? Spray foam is it a sexual uh, connotation? Does it carry a sexual connotation or? Uh, you only provide spray foam for uh, human trafficked, uh, Slavic uh, victims of sexual abuse. Uh, this is the only type of foam. When I specifically ask for a rigid cord, this is the only type of foam that you um, refer me to. Is that what it is, Home Depot? No, because I can come by the store. I can come by the store where I place the request, where I specifically ask for a rigid core, and I can go uh, to the Woodbridge store where you blasted the advertisement when I was in the store. That's not a problem. I can do the same uh, sort of uh, uh, angry banging on, this, uh, on the doors, etc., because this is the uh, humiliation and exploitation you are s subjecting me to here in Canada over and over for 17 years now, for 17 years. And you've been, everyone was okay with that. Right? So all the underprivileged slutty girls, essentially, they are being slaughtered and drowned here in Canada because what's happening is that we are coming here as white slaves. I'm going to look at myself. I'm losing sort of a point of contact. Anyway, we are being trafficked here as sexual slaves for reproductive purposes or for financial exploitation. Okay? And we are lucky if we are alive and healthy by the time we are in our 40s, okay? And uh, what is happening is that all of us, those white Slavic uh, women who are coming from um, incomplete families, from underprivileged uh, socioeconomic backgrounds, as a consequence of, again, World War II and ethnic cleansing and all of the alcoholism and all of the lost generations of uh, white men, okay? So we are coming here and we are just being slaughtered. We are being cleansed. We are being um, just drowned, drowned alive, okay? And all the privileged white uh, men and women here, Canadian elite, are holding us underwater until we are old enough not to be able to reproduce and we are not uh, as appealing, etc., etc., where we can finally be allowed to work in normal places and to earn normal wages because, God forbid, if we are allowed into the companies, into normal companies where white people work, because, God forbid, local white men, um, get all, uh, I don't know, heart attacks or high blood pressure or something like that happens to them. It's our fault, right? Because we are the ditches. We are the infested. We are the dirt. We are the slaves. So it's okay to wipe your feet off us 
while we are in our reproductive uh, age, right, to hold us underwater until such time when we are unable to uh, provide for ourselves or until such time when we have one, two, three kids, okay, where we have to work our asses off when we are no longer looking our best we can finally be allowed into normal companies.